Here's the setup that I have explained previously. Let me show you the applications that got deployed in EKS and AKS. This is an it is an applications uh, in the uh, in the EKS. There are application called front end got deployed. There are three nodes here, uh, three ports. Book info get port. There's an application called book info got deployed in the EKS as in the EKS as well. And for the AKS, I have on the AKS I have hipster and front end. This is an application in the AKS. I have applications, uh, the front end application, as well as, as well as uh, the hipster application. So typically, what happened here is that when you want to expose the services, uh, let me log into the Volterra console. So currently, the applications are created. Uh, a tenant called Acme Demo are created, and all the applications are being uh, exposed. And uh, the swappy pole, the hipster pole, and the front end, EKS one and EKS one, the book info as well as the SSH. All these applications are being created, including uh, the service discoveries for the EKS and AKS. So a load balancers are being created as well. There's a book info. These are all the domain that has been created specifically for this demo and this is just a local domain. How you how the application is able to find this domain, there are two options here. Either you can have this domain delegated to the work mesh so that work mesh will be able to resolve it, or you can set up an air record in your DNS to point to work mesh internal IP address. In this demo, I had hard coded, I have put uh, the FQDN a record into the host file. So what I mean by that is that if I ping a frontend.demo.local, you will get the IP address of 192.168.0.130. If I ping uh, book info.demo.local, I'll get this get the same thing as well. Uh, hipster demo.local, you will get the same thing as well. Or the ping swappy.demo.local. They are, all, they are all resolved to the same IP addresses which are pointing to the work mesh. So in this case, we are using one IP addresses for all our application. If I do a code, HTTP frontend.demo.local. You can see that I'm hitting the AWS EKS1 environment and on the port. Or I can use a browser to, to connect to it as well. If I do a refresh, you can see that this port is actually being uh, uh, rotated because there are multiple ports in the AKS that I'm trying to assess. You can see that the X forwarded 4 as well, This the X forwarded 4 is actually the IP addresses of the originating client for simple book, uh, book info demo you can also access it from the web browser so basically this is the applications uh, that also been exposed uh, via uh, from my local machine which is, uh, I'm assessing it from here to the book info in the EKS. Same as uh, hipster apps, this is another application. Hipster apps is located in uh, EKS. This is a fully working application that you can uh, place an order on some, some items from the hipster shops. This is the Swappy. The uh, swappy.demo.local. This is the API server. You can access this API server from the command line as well. For example, if I do a call, call HTTP uh, swap swappy.demo.local uh, API people maybe ten or the other way that I can access it to see the HTTP. Now, 
from here we can we can access to the application directly there's another applications that have uh, I have loc uh, located at the transit gateway one of the VPC in the transit gateway if I show you the where's the applications if I go to the uh, transit gateway demo I will show you in one of the use cases how you can use the transit gateway integrate the transit gateway uh, to this environment so there's a domains created for the transit gateway by the word call HTTP yeah, you can see that I'm accessing to the AWS VM2 in VPC2 VM2 so this this is actually located in one of the VPC uh, I believe that is VPC2 on the VM2 10 to 1 16 10 to 1 16 from here, you can see that I am able to access many different apps, all from the single same IP address. I, this capability is not only limited to, TC, uh, to HTTP, I can do uh, TCP as well as UDP. For example, I have uh, created a TCP load balancer. If I go to the TCP load balancer, I've, create, I've created this one, uh, ACMO. I've created two SSH. I can actually SSH to the box uh, using this command. SSH uh, SS, uh, AWS SSH nine one two two demo dot local nine one two two. So I'm now hitting the the uh, to this VM. If I try to log into the other VM, which is the Azure AZ uh, 9222, I believe. 